What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at resetting your registry permissions now a few people have said to me that they've had malware on the system and they always have trouble with either deleting certain files or deleting certain folders or deleting registry keys because they have no permissions or access has been denied to those areas and malware has uh, the ability to change those permissions and that's what it does now there's numerous different ways of going about removing these files I just wanted to show you a couple of programs um, that I've used and what you can use to do these uh, permissions change them back so you can reset them and then you can either delete it or leave them if they are um, system areas that have been changed so you can't edit anything okay so first off, let's start off with some of the uh, programs you probably haven't seen, like this Permissions Time Machine Lite. It's a great tool, and I want to cover this one first. I'm not going to go too heavy in it, because I'll probably do a video of this uh, piece of software all on its own and show it in action. But I'm just going to show you a quick couple of bits about it, okay? So as you can see here, we've got the program itself, and it does more than just registry permission uh, permissions changes. It does a file system and folder path here. And you've got the file path which is here and you've also got shares registry uh, process and you can see here you can uh, load this up by clicking this and then what this is going to do is give you your processes and uh, you can take permissions for those processes okay so for instance if it was um, let's say explorer.exe and uh, you can click on this button here and it will tell you what permissions uh, you've got for that particular file okay now if it says access in it will say uh, denied or something like that you you would see you've got full permissions for this file but it would be changed okay and you'd need to re rechange that by hitting the reset button and that will then change those permissions back so we've got services again you can just refresh this button here click this and it will discover services in that system and uh, once it's done that you'll get the drop down list here and also we've got printers WMI and so on so if you hit this button here it will do a scan on the system and then you would have your list here excellent tool really is is the donate button right here for the program uh, but the file version here is so all you need to do here is browse this file we're just going to use this file for now there's nothing wrong with this file at all I'm just going to show you so you've got the path inside here and if you're trying to reset this say it was a file that you couldn't do anything with uh, if you try to reset it without having the user group uh, in here it will give you you must select a user first so then you can come down to here this little black button here discover users just as you did with the other um, areas here you can select which users you want or you can just select all of them if you don't know what you're doing click on continue and now you've got all your users inside here you can change the permissions down here okay and it will let you change these permissions or you can change all the permissions for that okay um, you can edit permissions uh, that exists as you can see here you can see the pop-up bubble I'll let you do that now also here this will give you the information for that file so if you had access no access for that file no permissions it will be here but you can see we've got full permissions here okay but it would tell you there okay and you can reset that once that is done by clicking the reset button okay and then you can also go back to default here as well okay so that's this we're going to cover this again uh, when we've got some proper issues with the machine I'll infect it and we'll get some registry uh, permissions changed and stuff like that and we'll go through it with this program okay so that's that program another one is the reg ownership ex you've seen me use this before but this is another awesome tool and the reason why i like this one as well is because you have got a browse feature here where some of them you have to put the path in yourself manually but here you can just browse for that location okay very quick and easy and uh, you can take ownership for that uh, area there okay if it was this area you would select this area and you can take full ownership you can see i've got full access to that area um, but if it was an area where you haven't got um access to you can um, take access to that it'll be locked this will be locked down and you won't have access to it you can take ownership of it and then edit or delete or whatever you need to do in that location and then you could also restore that ownership back once that is done you can also open up the registry editor in that location 
with this little tool here. It's a real awesome little tool, it really is. And uh, the donate button is just here as well. And there's the website there. Another one is uh, the tweaking.com tool. Now this is another great tool for resetting a, an array of different um, uh, registry uh, permissions. You may be having problems with uh, the Windows update and stuff like that. This does come in the Windows repair tool, but it also has its own little reset registry permissions tool on its standalone install there, as you can see. So you can quickly run this tool and this will give you a reset of uh, loads of different areas. OK, so it doesn't list them there, but it will give you loads of different areas uh, that it will reset. OK, you just click on the start button. You'll see it will give you a list here once you start it. And then you'll start getting pop-up boxes with uh, prompt boxes popping up like this one, which will start to uh, reset ownership for registries and stuff like that. You, you'll see it uh, just go through its little uh, phase here. So let me just uh, quickly stop that. So that's another one here. So don't forget, guys, you can also come up to the top here and right click on a folder. Go properties and then go to security and then you can change your permissions here okay you can select the account which is having any denied issues here any denied area and you can click on edit and then you can add and remove what you like or you can go back and do this in your advanced for special permissions and advanced settings click on this one and then you can go through this uh, stage here okay got your owner tab here and so on and you can edit all this stuff okay as well You've seen me cover this in videos before, but basically that's what you can do. You can do it all here, but it takes a bit more work, whereas these do it all for you. You can also do remote registry editing, and you can do that with Kaspersky. So let me just quickly boot up to my live CD, and I'll show you another remote uh, registry editor, so in case you can't boot the system up. Okay, so we're going to go into my live CD area, and we can boot up to my live Windows 7 PE disk. I will just let this load up and this is another remote registry tool that I've got built into my live CDs and you can also if you don't have these CDs created you can always uh, use um, Kaspersky and tools like that they have a registry editor on them but once they're loaded up I'm just gonna hit go here I'm gonna load this up as you can see and then once you've got this up you can see uh, we have remote uh, reg edit right here and let's now finish loading in so we need to do here is click on the remote reg edit and there we have our registry editor here of the main machine so it's not of the actual uh, live CD it will be of the machine that we've uh, loaded up to okay and we can make registry edits right here that we wanted to okay and we can change the permissions of certain areas if we wanted to you can change them in here with permissions and you can change permissions as as you wish okay so that's the actual live c and i'll just quick uh, live cd i'll just quickly boot up to uh, kaspersky and show you the registry editor in there as well so let me just get that ready So we'll just quickly uh, boot up to Kaspersky. I'm going to graphic mode here. Let this load up. Okay, so there we have the K Kaspersky registry editor there, as you can see. So if you just wanted a registry, use the registry editor, you can also load up the registry editor here. Okay, and this is the actual registry here. And you can see you've got the same sort of thing here. So if you wanted to do some uh, registry editing from here, that's how you can do it. Okay, now you are limited a little bit. You can uh, do some some bits and pieces here, but um, you may still be having difficulty uh, doing some stuff. But there is a registry editor, remote registry editor. Okay. So there you have it, guys. There's a few ways of. Uh, resetting the registry permissions on a machine okay so you've got different ways of doing things okay so if your PC is not booting you can still get into the registry and make changes 
uh, you can also use Hiren, so there's loads of other ways of doing that, okay? So I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I uh, upload new videos. And if you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that, then you can always head over to my forum and make a post on there, and we'll do our best to help you, okay? So thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.